What's going on everybody? Lewis of the Way Air Kick channel back again with an unboxing here to what I believe might be one of the first collaborations we've gotten so far here in 2024 being the month of January. And you can see the box here real quick. The label reads Jordan Airship uh, PESP. Baruch Brown Black. This is my personal size 12. Now I got these actually from Soulfly down there in Miami. And let me tell you, I got up early in the morning, drove down there, ended up being first in line to go ahead and secure my pair. It wasn't a long line anyhow. I would have been able to more than likely get my pair. This box here, real quick guys, this is actually, if you look at the sticker here on the back, you see the Beijing. Well, Soul Goods, which is the collaboration that is going on here with Jordan brand is actually located in China. So you see here, they got the Beijing and there's other stickers on here from different places. Like you got Cincinnati, you got Tokyo, but each one of these stickers is actually supposed to be representative of a collaboration that Jordan brand is going to be doing in these different areas. So that's pretty much what the box is all about here, but let's go ahead and check out the kicks. All right, taking a look here, here's the top of the box. Let me go ahead and open the lid and the lid is attached to the rest of the box here. When you flip it open, you do have a red Jumpman and you got a circle here around it which does say Air Jordan International Flight Club. There's also a lot number stamped here on the inside of the lid as well. And it may be a little hard to see, but here you can see some of the reflection going on where they have the lines here, which actually are the globe on the inside of the lid. You do have tissue paper here. Now, this is very long and it does say Prove yourself on it as you can see here in the picture that I'm giving you guys but let me go ahead and flip this back and as you can see here we got a whole lot of tissue paper to go ahead and get through let me take this off and then we can go ahead and check out the kicks all right so here you have the left and the right shoe and you can see here that we have black laces in one of the sneakers and we have brown laces in the other. That's because it comes with an extra set of brown laces and they come pre-laced with the black here that is in the left shoe and I put the brown in the right shoe. Now me personally, I like the way the black looks over the brown, but the brown actually is not bad. I will tell you this though, I had a little bit of a tough time for some reason getting the brown laces in here. As you can see, they're actually a different style lace than the black laces. The brown are rope style and then you have flat style here for the black. But let me go ahead and take a look here at the right shoe first and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the left. But as you can see here, we got mainly brown suede uppers here all around. You see that Chinese tiger head there on the collar of the sneaker you got the five back here on the heel which we'll get into in a little bit taking a look here at the swoosh it's actually double layered you got the top layer which is the suede here and then under it you actually have brown leather as well there guys uh coming around here to the mud guard area you see you got gray suede here little you know could probably use some suede brushing there to liven that up a little bit make it a little more transitional but taking a look here at the mud guard area you see here you got mush here for the mud guard guys and the tongue itself is the same material as most of the shoe, which is the brown suede here. At the top of the tongue, you do have the Nike Air tag here with Nike Air written in black. You also have a hang tag that is actually placed here on the right shoe. And you can see you got the tiger head on one side and you got the jump man there with Air Jordan International Flight on the other side. Taking a look here at the inside of the sock liner, you can see it's mainly black, but there is actually something written back here. And it says, prove yourself, a little hard to see. Definitely give you guys a picture of it, but it does say prove yourself there. Uh, you also do have the size tag written on the inside collar there which this pair is a size 12. If you had like a 10 and a half, it would say 10.5, guys. Down there on the insole foot pad, maybe a little tough to see, but on the right shoe there on the insole foot pad, you do have a Jordan Jumpman there stamped in it. Here, taking a look at the left shoe, guys. On the inside there, you can see it's got the Chinese tiger head actually stamped there in the insole foot pad. Taking a look here at the midsole, it's a gray midsole. Outsole itself is gray as well. And I must say, like the shoe itself, very nice quality, very nicely done. 
overall i really like the way these came out definitely lends itself to a couple different lace options other than what it is we actually got initially here uh with the shoe itself but yeah man i really like the way these are now before we go ahead and move on to the on feet i did want to talk about what the inspiration was behind the shoe directly from soul goods themselves and what they said here was is that the colorway is inspired by the weather and streets of beijing during the 80s and 90s celebrating not only the hard work and humble resilience of chinese diaspora but also the unique perspective and style of a new generation now i had to look up what that word diaspora actually means and according to the google search it says here that it's a group of people who are scattered across regions that are different from the geographic place of origin the word comes from an ancient greek word that means to scatter about and you know obviously there's a lot of people of different cultures that have actually scattered there across the world themselves and yeah the chinese people are no different but moving on from that we do also have here that the embroidered prove yourself on the suede collar speaks to the shoes creative ethos for instance and the five on the heel is a subtle tribute to the 1957 chinese movie basketball player number five a landmark film not only because it's an early example of basketball's impact on Chinese culture, but also because it's a story told from a woman's perspective. So that's definitely an interesting point there. But if you guys want to know more about that, I'll definitely put a link in the description to where you can do a little bit more research. But like I said, let's go ahead and throw these on feet. What do you guys think about the Soul Goods and Jordan Airship PE collaboration, guys? Was this the shoe you tried to go after? These were extremely limited. And let me tell you right now, if you check the prices on the secondary market, they're getting up there. This here in particular, I think they knocked it out of the park as far as the QC is concerned. Great materials on here and yeah, they turned out very nice. But I wanna know what you guys think of the shoe. You've heard enough about what it is, I think. I wanna hear what you guys have to say. But please smash that like button if you are enjoying this video. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. Hit that subscriber button and click that notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop one of these videos. We are on the road to 1,000 subs, guys. This is Lewis of the Way It Kicks channel reminding you to be true, stay in the moment, and don't forget every day is a great day to where your kicks.